of our people. After days of speculation, Pakistan's exiled Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto declared she's going home, with or without the support of the country's president. We are fighting for a moderate future for Pakistan. We are fighting for a democratic uh, future for Pakistan. And we are fighting for a Pakistan that is free of terrorism. At a surprise news conference in London, Bhutto said she had not reached a much-anticipated power-sharing deal with Pakistan President General Pervez Musharraf. The pact would see Musharraf step down as army chief, but remain president, and Bhutto reinstated as prime minister. But Bhutto said talks with Musharraf's government have stalled, due to what she believes is resistance from members of the ruling party. We understand that there is severe uh, reaction within the present ruling party to any understanding with the Pakistan People's Party. And due to that reaction, no understanding has been arrived at. And we are making our own plans uh, to return to the country. Bhutto said her Pakistan People's Party will announce the date of her return on September 14th. She governed Pakistan for two non-consecutive terms in the late 80s and mid-90s, and then later left the country in 1999 amid allegations of corruption. When you do arrive in Pakistan, what is your strategy to build support there? Well, it's very important for me to tour the country and to meet the people, especially the young people, the young uh, boys and girls, who have now come into uh, to be voters and to try and influence them. Musharraf has been in power for eight years and is hoping to be elected for another five-year term. But his government is struggling as Bhutto and another former prime minister, Nawaz Sharif, prepare to challenge him. Wednesday, Sharif announced he will quit exile and return to Pakistan on September 10th. By delaying the announcement of her return, Bhutto has left the door open for talks with Musharraf to resume. Indeed, she may need his support to avoid those outstanding corruption charges. Presidential elections are due to be held in Pakistan between September 15th and October 15th. Emily Chang, CNN. Nawaz Sharif was ejected as Pakistan's prime minister in a bloodless coup in 1999 and sentenced to life in prison. In 2000, he was pardoned by General Musharraf and sent into exile for 10 years. But now that Pakistan's Supreme Court has decided he can return, he'll fly to Islamabad on September the 10th. He told CNN that threats from President Musharraf don't worry him. He kept me 14 months in jail. He kept me in solitary confinement in a 16th century fort. I was treated worse than a prisoner of war. And... Uh, uh, he now once again uh, is threatening me of dire consequences. I'm not scared. And uh, 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 I will go to Pakistan. I will launch my struggle. Mr. Sharif's political rival, Benazir Bhutto, another former prime minister in exile, says she's close to a deal with General Musharraf that would keep him in power as president, but strip him of the army role that provides his power base. It would also guarantee she wouldn't face corruption charges on her return. But Pakistan's information minister says it's so far only a dialogue, not a deal. As far as the president's army uniform is concerned, whatever the decision is, the president himself will take it. At a London news conference, Mr. Sharif scorned his rival's efforts, saying that like him, Ms. Bhutto had signed a charter for democracy. That charter of democracy very clearly states that there can be no parleys, no negotiations and no talks uh, with the dictators and especially military dictators. This man, Musharraf, is on his way out. No one should try to rescue him. And no one should try to rescue his sinking ship for personal motives. The jockeying for position ahead of Pakistan's elections is picking up pace, with Mr. Sharif presenting himself as the guarantee of General Musharraf's removal. We'll fight our battle along with the people of Pakistan on the streets, we will fight our battle in the courts. We will fight our battle everywhere because we think these are defining moments for Pakistan and Pakistan must get rid of uh, dictatorship forever. When Nawaz Sharif boards a plane for Islamabad on September the 10th, it will be a journey into the unknown. General Musharraf has already jailed him once, but he's made it clear 
For him, there will be no deals with General Musharraf in or out of a uniform. Robin Oakley, 